Hi, welcome to our channel. We are the Grace Knit Stitchers. I'm Corinne. And I'm Colleen. And we're mother and daughter. We stitch together a lot. Uh, sometimes do other crafts. Colleen will show you some things in a little bit. Um, this has been, I don't want to say a light stitching week, but it's been very different for us. Um, <laughs> I've been very tired, probably for about a week. And I haven't stitched a whole lot at all. I've mostly been sleeping. So between students, if somebody cancels, I close my eyes. Um, a couple things. I told you guys I had an eye doctor appointment coming up. I have extremely dry eyes due to my arthritis. So now I'm using eye drops twice a day. So my vision has been improving. So yay. Uh, but we found out on Monday why some of us have been tired. And that was because, well, we found a leak in our water heater. He came to check that. And the moment he walked in there, he saw the vent had come off. So we were having carbon monoxide leak in our house. It is fixed. We are better. So no worries there. Uh, thankfully, we left our house enough times, I think, that it didn't build up in our system. But it got fixed on Monday. And Tuesday, I woke up feeling so much better. Just I felt really refreshed. And none of my girls took naps that day. It's funny how you just don't even think of something like that. Mm -hmm. uh, we do need a hot water heater, which is a bummer, but it saved our lives. So, so again, not much stitching happened. Uh, news, we're recording this on Wednesday, so we may allude to me teaching today or something, but we're going up to my parents tonight, just the girls. And um, so I'm hoping this will, I can somehow post this tomorrow. We'll see, so that we can have our normal Thursday. Mm -hmm. uh, anything else? No, I didn't take notes. No notes. All right. So I have something kind of neat to show you guys. Colleen found these for me. Um, I had model stitched many years ago, and these were the samples. And at the time I was stitching, you never knew if they were going to send your sample back or not. So I had stitched two different samples. This one had back stitching and French knots. So that's why I stitched this. And you needed like a two. Is it you need a two or three inch sample. So that was my first sample. And then this, uh, that was just out of a children's book. Um, and it was something I could pull out and make Aunt Nicole. And then this had, of course, tons of back stitching and fractional stitches, lots of quarter stitches, I believe. Yeah, this is Paula Vaughn's from the porch. I pulled out the chair. Cause it was hard to find just a little segment of something that you could make with coal if you weren't using a book. Because I think this is before I ever bought cross stitch books. This one is, I don't know if you can see it through the bag. That was the first of the Lizzie Kate flippets that I had ever done. So it's got the little dragonfly charm. That's my June. I don't know which June is mine and which one's Alan's. It doesn't really matter. Um, but anyway, it's kind of neat to find those samples that I made so many years ago. Um, do you want to show your whips first? Sure. Okay, so I think I had finished it last week, so I, sh I should have done this last week. I had finished up on the scarf, and that was after I reached my goal for Jim Shore Kitty. Um, so she better whip the bowl. So I didn't pull out Black Stallion. That's for my other whip go, or just my next whip go, the other number. Um, I was going to pull it out to show you it, because I might work it on this week, or I don't know. But I didn't pull it out, so sorry. <laughs> All right, this is the Fat Cat with Shells. We I, found the pattern. We found the pattern, and it does not have a name. So, do you, did you pull the book out? I, we did, I think. I don't know where we put it. So, it's in one of those that, you know, they have a sampler, mm -hmm. and then they pull the things out of the sampler, and you can make them individually. But along the same theme, they have more items. So, there was no model. Mm -hmm. Yep, so I actually got some browns in there. And I'm working more on the tan color. And maybe I'll get the shell or the eyes. So it's kind of interesting and unique that she pulled that out to yeah. do. Mm -hmm. Because there was no model. Uh, I worked more on my Glendon place, uh, Hope and Strength. I don't know how much I got done since I showed you last week. Uh, a couple more of these purple areas, but I'll show you. And then it's getting put away till Mania. Mm. Although, oh. exciting news. I have another whip. Oh, she has another whip. She'll pull that out in a second. Um, so in exciting news here, I did get the rest of my dinky dies. We went to, there's 
did I get any from her? No. So I got these from a shop in Lancaster. I called and she had them. So I will be prepared and have everything ready for me um, when it comes time for Mania. Uh, but I did have a lot of fun. So even though this was the linen, I can just show you easily now how this just kind of moves. It's it's just, it's so interesting, so weird. I don't think I would ever watch that. I knew I would never buy it. Um, I did. I did or I earned it. I don't remember. Um, but I won't buy it again. Just there's too many other nice ones out there that, you know, you have a lot of fun. And if you're interested, that's the Glendon Place whip, whip or uh, pattern. <laughs> Hope and strength. That was their, uh, their uh, special for the pandemic. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Um, so I'm going to show you my fans of the Far East. I didn't finish all the blue. Like I have a little bit of blue to fill in where there are more flowers, but yeah, I just have like a few more rows of the blue and then I can start on like a brown or white-ish color. Is this the one you started parking on or is that your cat? That was my cat. She actually tried parking. That was on the gym short cat because I have two cats right here. So she's on so her last fan. I don't think I'm going to get this. Like I had the goal to finish this before May. I don't think that's going to happen because you have plenty of others finished. There's a border. Yeah. Borders are fun, though. Mm. Yes and no. Stitching in them. My next whip will show you how borders are yes and no fun. Oh, that's yours. Yeah. You like how I stole that from her? Mm -hmm. All right. So, I'm teasing here. I apologize in advance. I did not start my Amazing Grace. Uh, two things about that. So I didn't start it yet, probably when she starts Black Stallion, because we still have, what is today's date? Today's the 10th. We have until the 30th, 31st, 31 days in May, March. Um, correct me if I'm wrong. It's not going to Okay. So, you know, we have time and that's the last one I have. I have three of my others. Glendon Place was one and this was one of my new starts and I have had so much fun with this. It's kind of easy to stitch. I absolutely love this and I am you know I am a person who goes okay I really like that it's a set so I'm gonna buy the whole set and then I kind of if you don't like stitching them all you know then you're stuck I kind of feel that way about my stoza soda stitch although when I'm stitching it I do like it um but they're longer than I thought uh this here I am not regretting in the least and Every time she says primitive hair, I'm thinking of like primitive hair. <laughs> so now I'm looking at this reverse hem and it's a rabbit or bunny, a hare. Yeah. yeah. So it's the primitive hair as an animal. Yeah, it's the primitive hair. I, uh. But it's so, oh, no, I'm in love with this. Sense. Yeah. I think I'm close to 3,000 stitches in. My over dyes just arrived, so I can do with the rest of her dress. So I done every I've done everything. This is a brand new start for last week. Uh, the border is just DMC black. Um, her skin is mm, two colors. Her hair is one, but an over dye goes through here, and the rest of her dress. This is her top bodice and her belt. Well, not really belt, but waistline, and two more colors. And her dress is completely done. So then I have a border to do, and the beast is a shadow here, but. I was afraid I'd put him in the wrong place, so I decided the border needed to come first. And oh, love it. So definitely found a designer that just clicks with me and my style. Even though I'm not a primitive person, this just, it, I, I love it. I love working on it. Now, I will say, primitive hair did not import correctly through Pattern Keeper. So it's, it shows up. I had to put the lock on, so the screen lock, so it won't turn. I have it straight up, up and down, and I can follow my pattern. I can zoom in, but you cannot mark off your stitches. So how I did that, I don't want to show you my pattern, but it's so teeny tiny. I'll show you a corner here. So teeny tiny. Um, I just use this for counting. I highlight and count as I go and just make sure that I'm not restitching the same part twice. So that is my answer to not being able to use mm. Pattern Keeper the way it's intended. Because, I mean, I love it, but it's okay. All right. Do you have one other thing to show? 
Does anyone recognize what this is? <laughs> well, do mind the end of the peat tape. Okay, so uh, Lauren picked up doing some plus to canvas, and I said, could you pick me up some yarn because there's something I wanted to do. It wasn't planned to be what I'm making, but it is. I'm gonna show this. I like that. Surprised it's blue. But I don't know. It was almost three feet. It was supposed to be a dishcloth. It was supposed to be a dishcloth. So they get 37 stitches wide. Mm -hmm. um, so then I just kept going on with it because you can see these sparkles, these beautiful yeah, metallic we couldn't sparkles. Use it as a dishcloth. It couldn't be a dishcloth. So I'm making myself a scarf. And um, I picked it. She picked Lauren, it. Lauren was at Hobby Lobby with me and she's going, yarn yeah, it's yarn, tree, yarn bee sugar wheel. So Lauren was like, sparkly. I'm like, you don't know your sister as well as you think you do. Right. Um, and it's blue sparkles. Um, so I'm taking this in the, on the card because we'll be traveling. We'll just, it's dark. But I'm just, I'm not going to bring any cross stitching up because we're only staying for like two days. So I'll be taking my yarn to show, or not yarn, my scarf, my knitting. Yep. Um, Graham don't like seeing that. My mother does not knit. Uh, she crochets, used to crochet. Really? Yep. So oh. she'll really enjoy seeing that. Yeah, she was going to do dish claws and decided she didn't want to purl yet. Yeah. And also, because it was going to be a heart pattern, I was having troubles with the purling. Yeah. So so I got some happy mail. So I got my CXC. I had ordered this a long time ago. So definitely it's nice and smooth it doesn't feel like it's going to fray too much what i'm doing with the cxc is the second in my stained glass i'm doing snow white and next is me cinderella i'm going to try her with cxc because they have the black border and i have my big old cone of black so my black will still be the dmc continuous throughout my pattern i guess it's left to right so here's my um snow white cinderella will be here um when you're looking at it and it's kind of separate. I mean, there are two totally separate patterns. I'm just connecting them with another thread of black going through it. I, I put an extra row of black. Um, so I think using the different floss is not going to be the end of the world um, because it's not the same exact. They won't be next to each other except for the black. Um, and then I'll find out if I like CXC. And I'm not starting Cinderella until she's called a with though. So... Please don't send me lots of messages. What do you think of CXC? I gotta bobbinate all this. Wait, do you see? I think I paid 30, maybe $40 with shipping. It was insanely cheap. And you know how much um, DMC costs. And then I knew what extra colors I needed. And I just used the guide. So 775, 3865. Oh, you know, we use a lot of that. 3750, 939. Like, Oh, so they have I DMC think, numbers. Mm -hmm. I think D Navy 939 is the new black. We can't ever find it. Mm -hmm. And it came nicely packaged in this. All over China. But I did, I asked, just like everybody told me to do, I made sure in my comment section, I requested the two labeled CXC so that I wouldn't be getting a grab bag of colors. Ooh, of numbers. Mm -hmm. Would you mind blocking that for me? Yeah. I'll just toss that down there. So that was a long-awaited parcel. Um, Friday, when my husband was off, he said he would take us to another cross-stitch shop. Uh, this one was a little disappointing. I think we expected more just because of how nice a lady in uh, the other shop was. So this one was kind of in. Um, but I do get a nice pattern. Very excited about that. My middle daughter loves foxes. And so does my sister. So I think that's, <sighs> and I don't, no, I do have one Teresa coat. I haven't started, obviously. We can well, both stitch it. We can both stitch, stitch it. one person stitch the other. Oh, yeah, we could make them gifts. Never thought of that. Because I like how it's yeah, a green fabric. Yeah, because it would still be in my house. Yeah. It's a green fabric. And these are my dinky dyes. Yeah, what were you saying? Well, it, yeah. I mean, what is it? It's a green fabric. Yes. So that's not a background. And that's then that brown, the brown is the... So yeah, you gotta do a green fabric. Yeah. Definitely have to do a green. And then these, this is for my hope and strength. I had called ahead. She had these natural ocean grove and ocean pines. Um, I did talk to... Um, Madeline? No. no. 
Margaret, Margaret, my head, I knew earlier. Um, she's sending me more, some dinky dyes. They should be here in a couple of days. So then I will have the rest. I'm kind of sad because I was able to put together an order that gave me free shipping, but my dinky dye request got out too late. But I practice what I preach. I, uh, told you guys go look up Margaret and I ordered from her. Love it. Love it. Love it. It came so quick. So these are my classic color works. Or any of those for me. Some, but we'll just dig through. Um, Queen Bee, Cocoa Bean, and Hickory Sticks. This is classic color works. You wanna read this? Jolly Holly, Cherry Cobbler. One more. Steamed Broccoli. That's another one. Huh? And Holly Berry. Yeah. Thank you. So that's the rest of the classic color works that I got. I do not remember. I think it's for either Teresa Kogut or the other one like this that I got. Most of others might be yours. Hmm. And if you know the difference between the Simply Shaker and the regular gem art, I would love to know because I don't know. The label's different. Um, and when I went to the shop that's closing, I went for just the regular sampler threads just because I figured I want to buy those before the Simply Shaker. I don't know. When I started my A through whatever I got to. Um, I needed an insane amount of chalk. Ah, look at all that chalk. And that might be mine. You, you might need a few. Oh, one of but, us needs a lot. But Tulip House, has, is that the border color? Could be. And Victorian pink. I already had one, but I bet one of these is Colleen's and one's mine. That would make sense. I was trying to figure out why I ordered two when I already had one. And then I have two old brick. I'll just put one up. Uh, this is endive. But these colors are, you know, you're enjoying it. And then these are for my primitive hair, toffee and pecan pie. I have not started them, but I did pull them out. And then the last I got some was some wheat. So all of this was not just to fill my stash. These were projects we went through. Uh, Bright Leaf, Blue Heron, although since we're staying an extra day, we might get to go down to an app. I'll read it. Mm. This is Parchment, Red Rocks. Mm. Yeah. Oops, go ahead. And got Bullfrog. Flat fish. <laughs> and this is a baked apple. Baked apple. Very cool. I'm going to say that the lady at the, in Pottstown didn't have that because you got two of grasshopper, so there's one. Oh. I need to mark that. Then we have Confederate Grey. Oh my goodness, that she was sold out of. You mean Terrapin? Terrapin. So that's our little haul. A lot of floss this time, which is unusual, mm -hmm. I know, for me. Um, and then a special teeny tiny gift. Um, I My other big one I am sending as a gift to somebody. My husband made me a ton of labels. He, he really likes to make labels. So I have some amazing Grace labels. So if you think you are going to join Hannah and I on our stitch along, she's not starting until... That's her new start in January. So she's not starting until January. I'm starting hopefully next week. Um, I have smaller font. He made me big ones and small ones. So if you'd really like an amazing grace with small font, let me know and I'll drop it in the mail. Just email me. Um, I'll let you show yours and then I'll do my tool of the week. Yes, I have a little bit of haul. Uh, International Blessings, my subscription box for every month. Uh, if you can see my earrings, uh, that came. Then I'll turn it around. This beautiful ring, and I don't know how it, it's blue. I'm Somehow blue. they're getting her number, but I don't know if you can see it. I love that. And this cute, adorable, hand painted uh, turtle. It's so adorable. And mm -hmm. it almost looks like it has five legs, but that's its tail. Um, and I was watching Sarah from Our Stitching Kingdom this week. Um, 
she's who got Colleen interested in her knitting between her and Ginger Gerald. Yeah. She's like, oh, I think I'd like to try knitting again. <laughs> so thank you, Sarah. And um, she held up this Pearl Mermaid by Nora Corbett. I didn't even tell you yet. Um, I'm not a big mermaid person other than Ariel. And Nora Corbett's mermaids just don't do it for me until I saw this one. It's pearls. My birthstone. Yeah. So when I saw that, so Sarah, you may tempt me there. Uh, might be joining you on that one. I mean, I do have the mermaid one, but it's very simple. Yeah. Like, oh, your little one. doesn't have facial. I think it's, yeah, it's the back. Mermaid and dolphin. Yeah, that's tiny. That's different. I think it's different. Mm -hmm. This one's got beads. It's got pearls. It's got a face. <laughs> it's got a face. All right. Any other news? We already made our plans. Told them our plans. Yeah. All right. Well, my tool of the week. I don't have a name for it. I know there is one. It's a brush. Rose connection. <laughs> it is so neat. Um, when you frog and you leave behind your little fibers, you go across your fabric nice and gentle because this is super soft. And... Um, take them away it takes away the fuzzy so you don't use it when you're good your good thread because it will pull it up a little bit but yeah you clean your fabric and clean away the fuzzies um it's a fiber something and i really apologize these tools i don't even know like maybe as old as colleen it looks like an easter egg yeah it does kind of maybe maybe 15 years old but, I mean, they're definitely old. And then somebody had given me a bunch of these. So that's why you see those. Um, they're supposed to be... I got them at a cross-stitch shop. And they're little fobs. So, yeah. you know, I had to have them. And I put them on everything. Thank you so much for watching. Um, we are over 300 subscribers. So, so excited. Um, I know numbers are not everything. But there's just something about seeing those numbers creep up. It just... Especially because my husband is a numbers guy he's in retail and you're always reaching for the next goal so you know he gets excited for us and we, i send him yeah, photos we like the support <laughs> yeah he, he gives us lots of support on that so it's it's fun it's something that you know he watches for um so yeah thank you so much um if you want to be entered into our drawing go back and watch video plus two number 30 that's kind of easy for me to remember 30 300 um we have the giveaway on there and you can see what to do to enter that um, I can't wait. We'll do a drawing next week. Or should we wait till the end of the month? We can wait until the end of the month. I think 3.30. The 30th would be a perfect day to do that. So we'll do it March 30th. Um, so again, thank you. We thank you are all our new friends. You guys are friends to us. I love your comments and I know everybody doesn't comment. Mm -hmm. And with Eileen, uh, I don't know if I did a little bit better. I was not trying to get too much too excited so you can understand. And I do need to talk a bit louder. Yeah, my husband was like, this is not negative in any way, I promise. Um, Eileen had suggested Colleen slow down and speak up a little, which I usually whisper to her. And yeah. I didn't um, last video, even though there was one part she got so excited and I was like, eh, she's already done. Not the end we'll of the world. We have to put subtitles up. <laughs> yeah, we should put subtitles up. Um, but when Colleen gets excited, you know, she talks fast. And I, we all do. I have like an I don't have speech problems, but I do slur my words a lot. Yeah. Yeah. So we hope she did better. But my husband saw the comment. He's like, oh, and we're like, no, no, that's a good thing. Because some people are hard of hearing. Mm -hmm. So anyway, so thank you. That was constructive crit criticism and we're taking it to heart. Um, but yes, we appreciate all your comments. We answer them as fast as we possibly can. We think everything through. Trust me. Sometimes writing a comment, it's like. Oh, did we hit the important thing so if we take a few minutes it's because we're really thinking through our answer and mm -hmm. sometimes i think it's better for colleen so she does answer some of them we read them together but if she answered them it's because i felt it was a little bit more relevant and then one time i had seen hannah's comment before you oh yeah she's a little sneaky she was holding my phone yeah i was answering another one so anyway i guess we will sign off for now and see you back for us normal time next week bye, bye.